Okay, are you ready to follow along? We're gonna work today on the upper body like last time and we're also gonna develop a little bit the legs today. So last time we did the basic crawl, the crab crawl and we did like a frog jump uh, forward putting our weights in our hands. So a lot of stimulus for the upper body but of course the whole body gets a serious training, a serious workout. <clears throat> but today we, uh, we're just gonna start, just follow me and we're just gonna start. I, um, <clears throat> I will not go through the, the wrist uh, preparation, you can do them from the last video. And then here we're just gonna start up crawling very nice and easy here. And just use whatever space, if you have more space than me, you're welcome to just continue crawling forward for a longer time before shifting direction and here when you go backwards it can be hard for, or difficult for people to really get this upper side pattern so maybe you can drill it just going back and forward few couple of times if you find it hard okay and that was very linear we can just start to move in a more open way crawling forward backward turning at the same time Crawling in circles. You can also play with like turning on a small spot. Yeah. Okay, come down and rest in the squat. From here, we're gonna do last time we did the frog jump phone. Now we're gonna do like what we would call the monkey jump sideways so from the squat i will put my hands forward and then lean into my hands get my weight into my shoulders and from here i will jump my feet forward and we'll make this nice little jump and i don't want to like get out of control i want to be in control during the whole movement so nice and easy and if you can make it without sound that is great so as silently as possible jump forward and backward if you have more room of course you are welcome to just continue going down the squat and take another step forward if this is really hard for you you don't need to lift the, the feet you can just jump like this dragging the feet dragging the feet dragging the feet and come to the squat also if you're not able to sit in the squat you can just use this position also with the heels elevated yeah this is a really like whole body exercise you're moving yeah every every gram of your body you're controlling it so I'm getting a, a little out of breath already yeah so and if you have more strength more control in your upper body you can also play with like last time just go higher and you can even like go into the handstand from, from this movement and just stand still for a couple of seconds before you move on yeah so we have the basic crawl we have the monkey jump and now we're just gonna revisit the, the crab also it's a great position to really open up the chest so here pull your shoulder blades back 
can depress the shoulders, the scapula, away from the ears. And here we have it. Just nice and easy. And if you want to be really mindful when you're warming up like this, you can you can place like the feet, the toes first when you go backward, and the heel first when you go forward, like you would do in a normal gait. And also here you can instead of just slamming the whole hand in, you can put the fingers down and then the wrist down. So you're mindful of how you position your feet and your whole body. And, and don't remember, get away from this position. Open up here, stabilize, get strong. Yeah. And of course you can like step under or over and turn and you can do the same thing with the hands also and just play a little around take bigger steps smaller steps there's nothing right or wrong here and of course you can also try to play with being in this position it's not bad per se but you want to be able to hold this position really strong and stable, okay? <clears throat> yeah, and the last one we're gonna use is the dog walk for the knees and for the legs. So we're gonna come from the squat, we're gonna move one knee forward, shift, one knee forward, shift, like this, just to warm up knees and from here I'm basically gonna balance put all my weight on this this leg and then move the other leg forward and then this knees go goes forward and then put all my weight here and then take a step here and what I want to do is I want to keep control and balance I don't want to go like like this in the beginning it can be tough so maybe you want to use your hands to find the balance and help stabilize and from here take the step that could be a great entry to learning the dog walk and you can just progress just using one finger and from there beginning to move more freely you can also like turn on the balls of the feet to change direction and then when the when the one knee goes forward the other knees goes up to the side and like this and you can play with the hands to help the movement and you can play with how low you want to go and you can play like being erect, you can also, like I know they use this in the military for like when you want to go low, you want to hold like a gun and just be able to, like this should, but you should just be your car and you could just drive freely around, like you hold the gun steadily and just the lower body moves you around. Okay, so that was the four main movements we're gonna use. So we're gonna bridge those movements together. Like uh, <clears throat> it could be done in all sorts of ways. Ways, but now we're just gonna co continue with the, the monkey jump, and then see how can we uh, turn it into a crawl movement like this. Just here, and then you land like we did before, and then turn the knees, putting the hand down the other hand and the knee down and now we're ready to take a step with the hand and then we can just crawl here so I'm gonna use <coughs> like from the side here take a monkey jump and then turn here 
putting the knee down and now we are in a position where we can move yeah so follow along try for yourself see can you take the jump and from here turn you can even keep this hand in contact with the floor all times yeah and here we are ready to crawl forward or backward okay Yeah, so the next one <coughs> is gonna be from the, the monkey to, um, to the dog walk. So it's basically, basically the same, we just don't use the hands. So here, jump, monkey, and then just turn. And now we are in the position and we are ready to walk around with this low gait which is really gonna develop like the full knee bend it was not a position I was able to do and not a movement I was able to do when I first like began this but my knee here I had a meniscus injury and I couldn't like bend it so this one really helped my knee to regain this normal natural knee bend deep knee bend function yeah and like that we can just play around and of course you you can do it to each side and then <clears throat> you can also see oh i can't move this way so i will just turn the other way and do the walking in this direction so many possibilities <clears throat> here and if you remember from last time, we also had um, this transition here where we can switch between the crawl and the crab. Yeah. So just lift diagonally and kick the leg through. Kick the leg through or pull the heel through like this and it's a great developer of the upper body stability wise for the shoulder we get it moving while stabilizing it yeah so now we can begin to just link all these movement in and we will make a flow for some minutes just follow along Okay guys, I will be setting a timer for three minutes and then we're just gonna continue non-stop and just flow with these movements and get a really great, great, great workout. Okay, ready? Let's go. I'm gonna start here by crawling. You can follow along with me, just crawling forward, a little bit back one, or you can just move on your own for these three minutes if you are um, feeling that you have like the bodily knowledge of how and when to shift okay here i'm gonna come into my squat from the crawl and then i'm gonna do a monkey hop here just land here and then take another one back and from here I'm gonna crawl a little again forward then kick my leg through and now I'm just gonna crawl in the crab forward a little bit around and here for these three minutes I will take it in a nice slow tempo so normally you can just play with the tempo also if you want to move faster okay i'm gonna shift to the crawl position 
And from here, I'm gonna stop and then sit my heel back and come in to this beginning of um, the dog walk. Move the other knee forward, this knee out to the side. Yeah. Walk a little. And if you don't have, like, I don't have a lot of space here, but uh, it's enough. And even if you just like have not much more than a yoga mat, you can just do it like this. Just turn. And of course, it's also allowed to do the dog walk with your hands in contact to support you. It will like mimic more of a crawl and it can also like be... Now I went down to a crawl so it can also be like a transition to a crawl. Oh. The way you shift from those movements. Yeah? Okay. And now I'm gonna do a monkey. Monkey a little bit around. See, can I make some small hops? And it doesn't have to be so linear. So I can see if I would go to the side, I would go this way, but I want to make a little turn, so I jump over there. And that is already three minutes. I just said only three minutes, normal I would do minimum of five, but for now I think it's enough. You can always set a timer and uh, do it yourself. See you in the next video. If you like this, comment below how you feel after doing this. I would like to know, was it hard, was it easy, what was challenging? And if you would like, like another follower along, just type in the comments, let me know you're alive. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more of this stuff, the movement, yeah. Okay guys, those three minutes, they went by too quickly. I'm gonna do a real one in five minutes for you, and I hope you will follow along also. So let's, let's get to it, okay? <clears throat> Just start with the basic crawl. It's always nice to start with, it's easy. It's so basic. Most of us can do it, but um, yeah, when we don't do it for many, many years, it will be hard. It's easy, like the pattern here, but the movement for yeah for your strength, it can be really challenging to hold your body up like this. Okay, and now I'm gonna switch to the crab. You can follow along, or you can do your own stuff while you're watching this. Oh, you can slow down the movements even more. From here, you can always, like the squat is always like one of the easiest positions to transition to. You can come here and crawl again. And you can fall back into the squat, fall back here. And like this and from here just fall back to the squat I will do a monkey hop ah, and then feel like transitioning to the dog walk here and this one it can be really hard for your knees if you're not conditioned and ready for it so take it easy guys take it easy now this is just like massage, like brushing my teeth. This is like brushing my knee, knees, just massaging them. It feels so good. It feels like something that needs to be done in order to gain like the longevity of the knee joint. Yeah, a little monkey jump again. And you can also play like with how your hands come down. Now your feet come down. And here I'm gonna transition to a little crawling position. And 
step through to the trap. Through to the crawl. Walk my knees closer. Knee down. Hands in front of the body. Make a little jump. Drag. Crawl. Forward. Backward. Coming to the squat again. Monkey. Monkey. And another monkey here. Yeah, we really develop the upper body and the lower body. We're gonna do a little dog walk now. Let's see. When the bell rings, I think it's close. How much time do we have left? I don't know. Just gonna continue here, coming to the squat. Hands down, a little prep to relax the legs. You can play with how much you can open the shoulders and the chest and here transition to the crab no to the crawl from the crab to the crawl walking a little backwards into the squat a little monkey and we're finished yeah thank you for following along Great work if you have been following me for all those minutes. Yeah, great workout. Thank you. So these kind of flows can be developed and yeah, there are endless possibilities. And this is one way I like to move and train my body and get a good session and workout in. If you're interested in seeing how I also move, check out this playlist where you can see other stuff that I use to develop my body and uh, yeah, see you.